Hey, you gotta love WordPress by now, right? How about let's talk about creating a page instead of a post. This course is mostly focused on creating posts and not pages. Posts show up only on the front page in chronological order. Each new post pushes the old down until it falls onto the second page. Now, I really recommend that you, only have, your, that you have your students only use posts and don't have them use pages. This will make more sense later on when they have a ton of content up there. And as long as they categorize and tag it, they can take advantage of some of the tricks that we can use to organize their sites. Pages work very well for teachers, though, and you may want to use a lot of pages on your site. I divide my class website up into separate pages and subpages for each topic that I teach. This might include a social studies page, an English page, a media literacy page, etc. It is up to you, of course, how you wish to set up your website. If you plan to use your site to display information that stays fairly static, doesn't change that much, uh, pages will probably work for you. We use pages on the Concordia EdTech PD site, for example. If you wish for your site to be more dynamic, always changing, dynamic like you, then posts or a combination of posts and pages will work best for you. We use posts on the Tech Help, help site at Concordia because we keep adding content there all the time. And we know tons of people are always looking at that content we put up there. And we feel good about that. And we thank you for going to that website all the time. I mean, you do go to that website, right? This isn't just a waste of our, oh, never mind.